5 a.m. There's only one person who dared to wake them up at this time. Good morning, girls. We're off on a mission, or you are off on a mission, because you are going to be a farm girl today. Dorothy, of course, was a little farm girl from Kansas who had a dream. So get your wellies on. <laughs> Waiting to judge the girls at his Cotswolds farm is country farm presenter and farmer Adam Henson. I've never had anybody come onto the farm who has had no farming experience at all. Anything could happen. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my farm. Now, Andrew is looking for a character like a true farm girl, so we're going to see how you get on. The first thing we're going to do is sit you down in the bales and give you some little lambs to bottle feed. Look how she's so clever. We've got the cleverest lamb everywhere. <laughs> I am really looking forward to the day on the farm. I'm sure we've got some um, good things in store. Let's see if you're as excited when you see this. OK, girls. Thank goodness there's no smell of vision We've got three loose boxes here that are full of pig muck and they all need mucking out. It's yeah. pink. I'm not going to lie, not really what I expected. <laughs> <coughs> if this is what I need to do to be Dorothy, then I'm more than happy to do it. The Dorothys know that Adam is marking them, but what they don't know is that the girl he picks wins an extra performance on the show. What I'm going to be looking for is someone who gets stuck in, head down, no nonsense, I'm not interested in the glamour and razzmatazz. I want a good farm worker. <coughs> the smell is really, really good. It's quite funny that Sophie was struggling. She was thinking, oh, I'm from Welsh Wales, you know, the sheep and the poo, and I'll be fine, you know, smelling the cow manure. But um, she wasn't when it came down to it when she was doing it. She was gagging like mad. How oh, can they pull so much? I'm really excited. I'm not like a really girly girl, so I'm quite happy to be on a farm and kind of, you know, doing some hard work and stuff. We can do it. Get into an e-pile. It is a bit smelly, but the great thing we're taking from today is sort of the experience of the farm, because Dorothy is, you know, a farm girl. It's full of enthusiasm at the moment. That's no good, is it? No. That one needs a note. Put muck in wrong place. <laughs> I've had horses before, so I'm dab hand at this. Let's go! That's why it's so hard. I haven't actually been to a farm before. We've got a flat tyre. But I loved it. Look at these farm hands. But you're doing very well, though. Thank very you. well. I'm yeah. an orphaner, I'm tough. Amy's great. Do so you think that she's going to be a bit like. If people want to underestimate me, then, you know, it's all the more sweeter for me to prove them wrong. What we're going to do now is meet some pigs. And as rookie farm staff for the day, one of the things you have to do is move pigs about. <laughs> they can bite, they have got sharp teeth, but just shoo them along. So, okay. first three girls. Amy, Lauren and Jenny are the first to try their hands at pig herding. Oh just let them all out. <laughs> oh, you're my favourite. Well done, 10 out of 10. Very good. <laughs> But how will the others fare? <laughs> At this rate, we'll be here till midnight. Absolutely hopeless. <laughs> Finally, the pigs are in. Time for Adam to pick the best farm girl. Now, the girl that wins gets an extra performance and will choose three girls to sing with her. The rest of you will be backing singers. And so, for me, the girl that wins the Dorothy mission is... Bronte. Yay! Now Bronte has the tough decision of picking three of her fellow Dorothys. Um, okay, number one, I'm going to pick Emily. Ooh, look at you. Okay. Okay, I'm going to pick Jess. Um, and Amy. Yeah. Amy. Well, thank you, Bronte, for picking us. We love you. Yeah. 